until daybreak. My sisters and brothers, be ever mindful that it is in our persevering through the night that we come to the daybreak of our greatest blessing. Jacob wrestled. He fought for dear life with this man as daybreak approached. And the man with whom Jacob wrestled knew that Jacob was serious and determined. And that Jacob wanted to win this battle. And I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but is there anybody in here who really wants to come out on the other side of this? Is there anybody in here who really wants to get to your daybreak? Is there anybody in here who will not settle for defeat? Who will not settle for mediocrity? Who will not settle for the status quo? Come on, somebody. Who will not settle for the situation you're in? I know it's going to be difficult to leave that situation. Y'all ain't going to help me preach now. It's going to be difficult to let go of that friend. It's going to be difficult to leave the comfort zone of where you are. But if you want to come out on the other side and reach the daybreak of your blessing, you're going to have to wrestle and fight through this thing. And, 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 and as he wrestled, uh, the man noticed that Jacob was serious and, and Jacob wanted to come out of this thing. And so the scripture tells us that he, he struck him in the socket of his hip in an attempt to break free from Jacob. And somebody in here needs to wrestle for your blessing like Jacob was wrestling. Uh, Jacob was going through the night time and, and we go through the night times of our lives and whenever we keep on fighting for dear life, whenever we keep on struggling to survive, whenever we keep on struggling to succeed, we will be bruised in the middle of the battle. May I tell you, my sisters and brothers, you can't go through the battle of life without some bumps and some bruises. Somebody going to hurt your little feelings. Come on, somebody say, go on and preach, Pastor. Somebody going to call you outside your name. In this battle called life, somebody going to hate on you. Somebody going to lie on you. Everybody ain't going to like you. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. You're going to deal with some heartache. You're going to deal with some pain. Somebody going to betray you. There's going to be a friend that's going to backstab you. You you can't get through this without some bumps and some bruises. You can't get through this in the ring of life. You got to go 15 rounds in a title fight. And in reality, you will come out with some bruises. You're going to get a black eye every now and then. You might have a busted lip. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, you can't get out of this fight without a struggle of any kind because a fight by its very nature means that we will suffer some physical or spiritual or some emotional bumps and bruises. But in spite of that, look at your neighbor and say, fight on. You have to struggle on until your daybreak. And so Jacob wrestled, tired though he was, he wrestled, afraid though he was, he wrestled. Jacob battled this man through the combat. Though it was fierce, he kept on fighting. He wrestled all through the dark because he knew that day was just around the corner. And the man with whom he had locked horns and butted heads argued for an end to come to the battle. He said to Jacob, let me go. Jacob understood that this man was not a man, but this was an angel sent from God, that this was somebody that had something that he needed. He understood that he had his blessing in his hand. He had his deliverance in his hand, and he said, I can't let you go until I get what I got to get. Jacob refused to quit. Jacob declared his determination not just with his mouth but with his actions. And there are many times that we declare determination with our mouth but our actions betray what we speak and God wants to see if we are willing to do. Oh God help me preach this thing in here. What we say God wants to see if our behind can test the check. That our mouth 
self keeps writing. Lord, I'm going to go all the way. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. If I die, let me die in the army of the Lord. As soon as we see the enemy coming. Come on, help me preach this thing in here. But God wants to see if our actions are going to be consistent with what we say. We talk about faith. We talk about the Lord being able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all I ask or think. We talk about Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. But then we get sick and we get depressed. And we forget about the God that we said in testimony service was a healer. When we're going through a difficult time and a difficult situation, we forget about the God that we say was a burden bearer and a heavy load sharer and a heart fixer and a mind regulator. And he wants to see if we are going to be consistent with what we say. And so Jacob kept on wrestling because Jacob said, I ain't letting you go until I get my blessing. He declared that if he had to wrestle, he was going to wrestle. If he had to fight, he was going to fight. If he had to hurt, he was going to hurt. If he had to struggle, he was going to struggle. If he had to endure all the things he had to endure, he was not going to quit until he got a blessing out of his wrestling. And may I just serve somebody notice that many of us are just one struggle away from succeeding. Many of us are only one prayer away from getting our blessing that has our name on it. And too often we lose the great blessing that can be ours because we quit too soon. We don't endure the struggle. We don't endure the fight. We don't endure the wrestling. And we quit right on the brink of a blessing. Look at somebody and tell them, keep on wrestling. Oh, my sisters and brothers, they say that when uh, you get to the end of your rope, that you ought to tie a knot and keep holding on. You got to understand that God is pleased when we refuse to give up. God is pleased when we see that it's worthwhile to keep on fighting. God is pleased when we struggle for right and good. And Jacob kept on fighting. He kept on wrestling. He kept on going because he knew that there was a blessing that had his name on it. And because he refused to quit when the going got tough. Because he didn't get out the kitchen when the kitchen got a little hot. Because he didn't thin out when things got thick and sticky. Jacob got his blessing. Not only did he get his blessing, but they, uh, Jacob rather got a new name from the Lord. God changed his entire nature. Because he kept on wrestling. And there are some of us in here that have to wrestle with ourselves and have to wrestle with our nature, have to wrestle with who we are, have to wrestle with our attitude. I ain't going to get no amens on the rest of this sermon here. Come on, somebody. Have to wrestle with our own nasty disposition. Have to wrestle with our laziness. Have to wrestle with how we treat other folk. Y'all ain't going to help me preach in here. Have to wrestle with our own unfaithfulness. We have to wrestle with our own lust and proclivities. We Y'all ain't going to help me preach in here. And many times when we preach this text, we talk about wrestling with another man as if we wrestling with somebody who's a hater or who's an enemy but may I serve you notice that Jacob had to wrestle with Jacob because Jacob was Jacob's own worst enemy and you don't have to wrestle with somebody else who's hating on you you gotta wrestle with you y'all ain't gonna help me preach in here <laughs> because the one who is hindering you the most is you I'm not wrestling with Jenna I'm not wrestling with brother Chris I'm not wrestling with brother Brian I'm wrestling with Tower. I'm wrestling with my own thoughts I'm wrestling with my own habits I'm wrestling with my own stuff look at somebody and say you ought to wrestle yourself 
me preach in here. Every now and then, you got to challenge yourself to a wrestling match. You got to challenge yourself. Come on, somebody. You, 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 you got to take the you that you know is not pleasing God and wrestle with the you that God wants you to be. Come on, somebody. And you got to keep on struggling uh, uh, until you don't cuss like you cuss. God, help me preach this thing in here today. Uh, you got to keep on struggling until you don't lie like you lie. You got to keep on struggling until you don't steal like you steal. Come on, somebody. Uh, until you don't do what you do. And Jacob kept on wrestling. And do you know what happened when Jacob kept on wrestling? Uh, 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 something happened uh, because when he got up out of that situation, Jacob didn't get out of there. Oh, God, help me preach this thing here. I'm going to go on and turn this off. Oh, God. When he got done wrestling, Jacob did not come out of there. Because the Bible tells me that when he got up out of that situation, Israel came out and Jacob was left behind. Oh, my, 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 my. And I'm here to tell somebody today. Uh, that you've got to wrestle hmm, uh, until the old you uh, is left behind. Uh, you got to wrestle uh, until the old habits uh, are left behind. Uh, you got to wrestle uh, until the old situations uh, you know how to deal with. Uh, you got to wrestle uh, until you can forgive the folk uh, that you're still holding things against. Uh, you got to wrestle uh, until you can speak to that sister uh, that you ain't talked to in the last five years. And, uh, you got to wrestle uh, until you can love that brother uh, that did you wrong. Uh, you got to wrestle. Uh, look at somebody and say, keep on wrestling. Well, there he is. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, a breakthrough uh, at daybreak. Uh, I just want to tell somebody uh, that the night won't last forever. Uh, for after a while, uh, the day is going to come. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, he said, let me go. Uh, for the day is breaking. Uh, and Jacob said, I know the day is breaking. Uh, I want the day to get here. Uh, because I heard, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, the Bible said, uh, weeping man uh, endure for nights, uh, but joy, somebody help me say joy, joy uh, comes in the morning. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm going to hold on. Uh, Till morning get here, I'm going to hold on through the night. I'm going to hold on until my change come. I'm going to hold on till my blessing get here. Yeah! <sighs> Jacob wrestled. When Jacob got done wrestling, God changed his name. God said, no longer will you go by the moniker of Jacob. No longer will you be called supplanter. No longer will you be called trickster. No longer will you be called liar. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. But I'm gonna change your name. Your name shall be known as Israel. Israel means a prince of God. God took a thief and made him a prince. God took a supplanter and made him royalty. God took a liar and made him into something. And the Lord is trying to tell us that when your day comes, no longer will you be... I don't know what you was, uh, but no longer will you be Lil' Kim, uh, Ray Ray T-Bone. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Uh, no longer will you be Pookie, uh, Ice Tea and Ice Pick and Ice Tray. Uh, Lord have mercy, uh, but I'm going to change uh, your name.
name. I'm going to change your mind. I'm going to change your heart. I'm going to change your disposition. I'm going to change the way you walk. I'm going to change the way you talk. I'm going to change the way you think. I'm going to change the way you praise. I'm going to change something. Yes, something. Yes, I heard the songwriter say, a wonderful change has come over me. The old folks used to say it like this, things I used to do, I don't do no more. Places I used to go, I don't go no more. Is there anybody in here who can testify that after I met the Lord, a change came over me. I'm not who I was last year. You can remember all you want. I heard Sister Carol say, we miss our blessing because we don't realize the change that God has made in folk. And we're still looking at folk like they were who they were when we used to run with them. But the thing we forget is we were who we were too. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach in there. So instead of worrying about what somebody else was, you ought to worry about what you were and whether or not a change has come over you. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven don't sign my name. Say it. 